The message from me to the Prime Minister is get this deal done. You said you had an oven ready deal, deliver on it. Um, this constant dithering, one day it's on, next day it's off, next day it's on, next day it's off, people are fed up with this. The Prime Minister said he had a deal, get that deal over the line, deliver it. Um, every day we delay is more uncertainty for businesses and greater damage for the economy. Prime Minister, you said I had a deal, deliver it. For the British people, it's the only promise you've ever made them, you need to deliver on it. Most people would say, um, why are we going through this yet again? We've got a pandemic. There are huge things going on in people's lives that they want the government to be focused on. And here we are, dithering again over Brexit. Nobody wants a third lockdown. It's hugely damaging on health grounds, but also for the economy. But I think most people would be saying to the Prime Minister, it's not a question of whether you rule it in or you rule it out. What are you doing now to try and prevent it? Uh, we can see that the tiered system isn't working in the way the Prime Minister promised. People, are, More people are going into the higher tiers, so it's not strong enough. The gaps are still there, so there isn't the support for people to self-isolate. The communications is all over the place. Go to work, no, don't go to work. Eat out, no, don't eat out. Have a Christmas, have a small Christmas. These problems have got to be sorted. So whether the Prime Minister rules it out or not is not the central question. I think the central question, Prime Minister, is what are you doing now to prevent the chance of a third lockdown? Those restrictions, easing the restrictions, I think is going to be the next big mistake for the Prime Minister. And he, rather than sort of saying, well, um, I'm not going to change the rules, it's over to you, families and communities, you take responsibility. That's not the act of a Prime Minister. The Prime Minister should say, I'll take the difficult decisions, not hand them over to individuals. If you what you can't have is a Prime Minister who, as he's done throughout this pandemic, has been too slow to act. It's obvious we've got a problem. It's obvious the NHS is struggling um, and we owe it to all those in the NHS and actually to the health and economic future of the country to take tough decisions.